you remember in the previous episode I said something along the lines of this car is better in every way it is an absolute improvement in pretty much every single way this glove box is absolutely minuscule still but we have gained a light which is nice and I you know it, it's 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 not a hundred percent useless that little pocket is is still pretty okay but I do miss having more storage in this area so to actually help me with my whole storage problem I am going to go and collect a armrest from Kiri's Renault up in Cork and that also basically means that I'm gonna get rid of one of my other favorite features of this car my personal feature two full-sized cup holders that actually work because the armrest is gonna cover the back cup holder and, and the back of this leaving me with one functioning cup holder but since I can use the door pockets to store things like bottles and cans and all that kind of stuff it's actually not too bad right let's go and collect it one hour later and there we are one central armrest I'm over at the at Kiri's I had to plug into the free charger of course I don't need one but if there's free fuel going I'll take it the next morning so I'm at home I've opened up the package inside it you'll find this is the actual um, armrest uh, got the nice leather variety uh, as you can see it will probably it's meant to go on top of the back of the console that's the hole for the USB ports now inside it you find uh, let me just put it right back up so in inside you'll find these four bolts but you need a special toolkit to actually get them installed which I don't have fortunately one of the biggest holes on the inside uh, let's see now that one is for two screws so it'll be a screw on one side it'll be a screw on the other side and they I, them I can actually remove here is the instruction manual and the instruction manual is relatively simple move the seats forward take these two screws out stick the thing on put the screws back and then it gets interesting they recommend doing something with a drill which I don't really fancy drilling anything in my new car and then putting these uh, bolts in with a special tool that I don't have nor do I want it so I think I'm just gonna try and find an allen key and we'll go out to the car and we'll see how far I get So I've moved the, um, the seats far forward as I can. So there you can see the bolt in the middle. And I'll just get rid of all of this stuff. And I should be able to get to it with a, very easily with a T20 Allen key. Um, not a hundred percent sure what T20 stands for, but it fit I checked. So that should be a matter of taking those out sticking it on and then seeing where we are
things I do to get a good angle. Now, it's pretty sturdy. All right, that is pretty sturdy. I'm very happy with that. So the actual armrest is a slight bit different compared to my Z20. My Z20 had a clip here where I could put RFID cards in for charging, which was quite handy. Um, we still have the coin holder, which is really handy. I use it for trolley coins, but you could also use it for tolls and stuff like that. And then, of course, there's the main compartment. The main compartment does appear to be a little bit smaller, but I think that has to do with the different design of the central console to begin with. I don't think you could have actually made it any bigger without uh, having overhang here on the cracking switches and all that kind of stuff. It would make it ergonomically inaccessible. Now of course you can close it, it's lovely as an armrest and you can also lift it up so you have access to the full one remaining cup holder, that is it. Well, we all have to make sacrifices I guess and uh, yeah I am absolutely delighted with this. So there you have it, that's how you install the center armrest in a Renault Zoe ZE50. The other Zoe models, the ZE20 and the ZE40, have a similar armrest with similar installation instructions, so this would probably be applicable to all of the Zoes in the Zoe range, but this is the first time I had to install it because it came with my old car. Um, so that is it. If you found this uh, video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all of that kind of stuff, and we'll see you hopefully very soon.